morning conversation ladies come here did you know especially guys because you guys i'm sure you never even knew this that ladies go through another crazy pressure and I, we need to discuss that this morning because it has resulted in a death i'm trying to figure out which country this woman is from she's known as livy j thousands of people are mourning today as they lost their favorite internet personality named livy j she made a post on social media and later committed suicide she's a mother of two cute babies one age three years another four to five months old the problem was the pressure of keeping up with social media and it drove her nuts you know guys that's we just post we're eating yamachama we just post we're drinking we just post we are going to watch football we just post ladies take time i've even noticed when you're taking a selfie with a woman you must take like 30 of them for her to choose one then she wakes all those filters she rambles yani even you you come out looking like a doll how much pressure do women go through with social media we've seen some of the most ridiculous things ever implants into buttocks breast implants just for the gram me I worry because i don't know what some of these women do me don't know who does for a living what does she do for a living but she looks so good and she lives in dubai and i've never seen her in a, in a bad picture hindi pressure ina gani ladies Robert Burale coaches tried to address that a, a while ago. Mm. It's a monster you try to feed every day. The day you don't feed it it will swallow you. Can you wake I... up unawaambia umevaa hivi, umefanya hivi, everything. This is my family, this is what. Tell me who you, this is my car. This is my mother. What do you feel the need? Do you realize and ladies I think it I think the pressure on you is enormous because by the time you you're done with the filters do you realize you look totally different from what you look like in real life? Eh anakuja ana kwa nini anakaa kadoro? Eh kwa picha. Mm. Ukikutana hivi. Eh. Uso ni ya Peter Rufai. Ni goalkeeper wa Nigeria. Kitoa make up hivi. Nikukimbia unashindwa ukimbilie wapi? Those lies. Una unaweka picha una two stars. Kila kitu kwako inaendeleaga vizuri. Hati kwa picha na kadol. Mkipata na sura ni ya pita? Rufai. Alikuwa goalkeeper wa Nigeria. I swear I swear but it's no, become a big problem. It, Ladies are, are so depressed. It's very simple. It's living a lie. Hmm? Is it a lie ladies? Every time you filter yourself to death, you wake up those breast, breast implants, you borrow clothes. Hmm. Do women borrow clothes? Yeah, to they, take pictures with. They borrow. Eh? They borrow clothes. They slay. They exactly slaying is the name of the game. On a big and it's and ladies it's all for the gram. Why? Hmm. Why can't we take one picture with you just one picture and you put it as a selfie? Na uwezi pigwa picha na zile bells uko nazo those boyfriends <laughs> unapiga <laughs> unapiga na watu very handsome <laughs> wewe utaki kupigwa na bell yako <laughs> ni yako ni uli chakuwa gikomba okay i need to hear from the ladies this morning how much pressure are you under when it comes to social media where must every picture be perfect where must your story be a fairy tale everyone is doing well everyone o is doing well on instagram on social All media for the gram <laughs> it will give me a call because we need to discuss this it's re resulting in deaths all over the world and the pressure is mostly on women how much pressure is there maybe we don't understand as guys 0711 is my number give me a call hit me up on my socials on uh, my fan page on facebook my twitter handles mm -hmm. open for business at it's my neck again one classic 105 kenya hashtag is my and king angi on social media unaona tanisha baby okay munakutana ai erode petero onesmas 
Oh yeah. my God. So where is the pressure coming from? Help us understand because maybe we can help each other out. I'll see you. This lady who committed suicide. And the thing is, it's, begun, it's become a global phenomenon. She's a, an internet personality named Livy J. Livy J was a mother of two, a three-year-old baby and a five-month-old baby. She committed suicide because of the pressures of social media. What guys you did not know is that ladies are under pressure every day. Every day. That's what guys don't know. Because guys, you know, they even post themselves there in their boxes with their big fat stomachs. And they don't mind. Men are under pressure. Let me just go to your tweets. Spiriting at the same. Social media is a lie. Bella Disha says, ladies like to be appreciated. And according to society today, makeup is the real deal. I don't use makeup, but I really want to train because it feels like the world is leaving me behind. Governor Kahu is saying to all ladies, the greatest mistake you can do is comparing yourself with everybody else. Live your life, stay true to yourself, and avoid unnecessary things in your life. Plus, stop calling other girls bays. Since bachelor mnataka tuenda wapi? Good morning to you, Chris. 001, Wamilele FM, good morning to you. Buzz. You raised something very, very interesting, Chris. The buzz. That is? Do Chris the, the buzz. That is the buzz. Chris the buzz. The buzz, like the bass. Uh. Like the bass. <laughs> Chris the buzz. Chris the bass, Mambo Vipi. Mm. He's saying, even Vera Sidika was having makeup in hospital when she went to deliver. Akiao. Vera even bleached her skin just for the gram. Me kuna moja nileta kakuja na piki piki ya mevaile with ya farasi na zile za macho zinaituaje. Eyelashes. Eh. Sikila kitu ilipuruka. Dika roda alifika hivi nikamuza Joshua. Ni wewe. Ati Joshua ni wewe. Right. Oh my god. What is this pressure you're putting yourself right. under, ladies? And what is the meaning of it all? Because Nini What happened to na the natural ones? Hmm? Hmm? Well, what up? You know, they look very beautiful. You know, like Uganda women are very natural. And Randis. Kwanza ukikata nyuele, you look very beautiful. In fact, will oh, Kenyan women understand that if you cut your hair, you look really pretty? Look at Rachel uh, Ruto. True. Uh, Margaret Kenyatta. Kenyatta. Hmm? Hmm? Mama ya Lupita. Yes. Hmm? 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 So hmm? what is it? Hmm? Le guys, if you did not know the kind of pressure women are under, so, tandika mkeka. Wanaume ndi wanapatia pressure? Apparently. Which one? <laughs> Hello? Hello, my name. Good morning. Good morning, my dear. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Hi, Skengani. Uh, no, the problem is... Eh. So when you post yourself on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, eh. people will like your photos there, eh? not the real you. Yeah. So you tend to make a lot of uh, editing and whatever, uh -huh. so people can can like your photos, tell you look good, tell you all those sweet things through social media, because physically no one is telling you that. Ah uh, yeah. And it is so bad. Self-esteem, the, the self-esteem of the ladies nowadays is so down. Yeah. Because we are, we are very many and the men are very few. Yeah. So you have, to keep, you have to keep up with the market. You have to keep up with the market? Yeah. How many so people... So Vera Sedika akona hit kubwa, eh. na mimi ni 1GB, eh. nitaenda kwa photo editing is the enlarge, Aya. ni post, Haya. Ndio pia mimi niambiwa eh it's young in a trend. So ha? I also want to be told I'm looking good. Hold on, let me ask you. Yeah. You can actually enhance your buttocks or with with an app. You can, yeah. Haya. Even the, the the whatever the mascaras and whatever you can put them using an app. Hujaeka physically lakini kwa app umeji make up. So you look like a dolly. Haya. So when you meet a person physically, you are a young young. It's sad, but like it's the truth. Hiya, that is... Ladies eh? should learn to accept who they are and how they are and love themselves. Yeah. And live with it. 
If you are loved, you are loved. If you are not loved, love yourself. But it all starts by loving yourself. When you love yourself, others will love you. Amen. Don't be who you are not. Amen. Yeah, I mean, have a good day. Thank you. Oh my God, hello. Hello, morning, my dear. Good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just asking a question because uh, with the mad, with the suicides going on around the world, uh-huh. it is worrying. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, Maina. How important is the gram to you? Very important. Very important. Yes. Why? I'm not sure. Eh. Your pressure comes in a kuzanga kutoka kwa na ume. Eh. Yeah, because they want you to look good with a book booty, eh. big boobs, a flat tummy. So you need to use the filters. So when you take a picture, say we take a selfie with you. Mm-hmm. How many how many pictures will you take? <laughs> so many. Like how many? Ten, twenty? Ten, twenty, thirty. Na kujoka kwa hizo mwata nita post moja. The perfect one. The perfect one after putting yeah. filters. Yes, of course. So you can actually reduce the size of your belly with an app. Of course. And increase your booty with an app. And you're okay with that? Yes. You don't see like you you're... You need to see us looking good. You don't see like you're living a lie? Uh-uh, but now what, which lie? Wait, wait. But then your stomach is not like that. Your ass is not like that. You know, we need you to see us looking good. The way you want to see us look. Na siku hile tutakutana. Tutaongea. <laughs> <laughs> Utakimbilea wapi. <laughs> Agia gai. We'll discuss. <laughs> You'll cross that bridge when you get there. Where? Tutaongea yo wakati kifika. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. About the pressure that women are under when it comes to social media. My God, I'm learning so much today. Learning so much. And guys, did you know this? That your woman is under so much pressure. Calvin Watoka, good morning, saying someone who even has to take a photo of the food you are about to eat at a public restaurant, not knowing that they are embarrassing you. <laughs> That's what your woman does. Frederick Macau is saying, Wakai natural, we love them that way. Bill and Dishio saying apparently most men go for looks, post a picture in makeup in the nice clothes and you'll get a thousand plus likes. Post yourself in natural looks and everybody will be, hmm, nah. Hold on ladies, do you actually count the likes? Do you actually count the likes? Personally, go for the content. And I share it with whoever I share it with. If no one wants, if no one shares it, it's okay. To me, it's the content because I think it's interesting. Kevum humble. Good morning. Is saying, insta. Where? I can box. Tuka tuka panga tu patane. Sema kupigwa na butwa. Demo insta ni huda. Tuki meet ni atuoli. Shenzi sada. Athman Mili saying, there's no real person on social media. Cameras are also made to make us look beautifully unreal. So what is this pressure, ladies? James Barrage is saying, no one puts up with their struggles. We want to display success, but we are failures. A smiley picture put behind the scenes. We rest our heads on a wet pillow. Hey, yeah. Hello. Morning, Maina. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Uh-huh. Salimia Kingani. Uh-huh, I'm Salimika. Okay, Maina. Eh. Kuna kwanga na body shaming. Eh. So, it's not easy for the ladies. Because of body shaming? Yeah, what Bo- unapata those plus size. Ntu kama mimi, mi am plus size. So, you find, eh. I can't post my full body. You can't post your full body? Yeah, I've never posted. Why? Because, siya tini kona shape mbaya maina, but, eh. I'm plus size. You find people are like, eh, mchata, mungina liandikanga kwa uliangu, I posted one picture, and eh, no menona. Haya. In your in your wall. Haya. Yeah. Kwa timeline yako. Yeah. So you can just imagine. I don't post. Not that I'm not 
beautiful, mm. but I just can't post because I can't stand the body shaming. So at least to avoid that, mm. what can you post? But it's the body shaming that makes you not post your pictures. Yeah, I don't see posting is full picture. Even in, on my Instagram, on my TikTok, everything is just half, half, half. Wow. Okay. Th I never thought of that. Okay. Thanks a lot for the insight. Huh? Okay. Just okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Bola. Good morning. It's Odulele. Ah, Odulele Mambo. How are you doing today? Ah, long time, my brother. I missed you. Very long time. Are you well? I'm what, can you imagine today is my birthday and you can't even play my Kayamba? Ah, yeah. Happy birthday, Odulele. Where is Kayamba? Ah, Odulele, what is this now? Hold on. Let, me, let us play for you, a Kayamba. Happy birthday, Odulele. Ah, you're more than a star. Thank you. I think tomorrow you should go to Ivory Lounge. <laughs> I definitely will be at Ivory tomorrow. You better come as well. I'll be there definitely. I'll see you there. I'll get you something. Okay. Now, this topic that you have today, I keep on telling you, bring topics that can kill us more though. Yeah. I think the only solution is because the women are just copycats. Yeah. So they are trying to put themselves in the market when they are trying to be who they are not to be. Yes. So with that one, they raise their game. Yeah. That's all they are doing. The other way, they are living a lie. But then they, they're, they're saying it's because you guys put them under pressure. There is nothing under pressure because what it is, they need to live and accept themselves the way they are. Because what happens when Anita and then she doesn't have peace? That's true. So I go there again and I look at her, she's got a big booty and everything. Then when you go there, she's looking like that man from Somalia. <laughs> yeah. So it is not like, let them live, uh, let them not live a lie. Let them accept, adjust, and move on. That's all. Thank you very much. I like that. Yeah, and thank you, my brother. Send me something for, uh, for uh, my birthday. Uh, and, and happy birthday once again, Odulele. Ah, uh, you, my brother. You're more than a star. Thank, hey, you, thank you very much. Okay, then, what is the problem, ladies? How big and widespread is body shaming? Do you understand what body shaming is, Molimu? Aye. When you tell a woman she's fat, that is called body shaming. Nagama <laughs> nagayu. <laughs> okay, anafa kwambi waji. God has been gracious to you. No, you are big boned. There, there's no fat woman. They are plus size. Mm. Guy, I said Kigag is just a disaster. So, what do you make of I'm learning so much this morning. Now, as they were on a vitam between a vac and beer, I tell you, you wake up body shaming. God is increasing you <laughs> in different ways. <laughs> no, come on, menona. In a quahad, sana, pia, sign in a kuning. Oh, my God. Okay. Come on, the moves here, twice the answer, Kusema. Oh. To say Merangi Lukwa Mingi Sana Uliponene. Ulekua Wakwanza, the first batch. Oh my God. Okay. Na mwacha kuchukua vitu very seriously. Oh, ni meambiwa, ni meambiwa. Now you're taking it personal. Unajufungia kwa nyumba. Sika maikwa ina. Mbona so many ladies from the new. Okay, have the final word, huh? Yeah, discussion, though. It's been a morning of learning. My God. Athman Mele is saying social media has made this world unreal. The leading source of depression in women is trying to look good. They look good on social media, but when they look in the mirror, they cry. And that's what's causing the depression. When they look in the mirror. Credible. Monique came just saying I love being myself because I can't be anyone else looking good for myself, not for anyone else. I don't go with pressure. I won't kill myself for social media. But it's a problem. Did you know that? The suicide rates in the world are crazy. And you know, the thing is, every guy on social media and everywhere else are just saying, you know, ladies, just stay natural. Every man on social media... So maybe ladies, you're taking advice from the wrong place, Ama. Kenyan Traffic, good morning. You're tuned in to uh, Super Metro KE on Kabuku Road along way Yakiwe with the driver Willie. Willie Asante, Willie Super Metro. Now Makanga and all your passengers, thank you so much for loving Classic 105. Is it that you're taking advice from the wrong place? Because if you look at social media, ladies, every man is saying the same thing. Stay natural. We love you that way. 
Young Professor Hamo, you're saying morning minor. Truth be told, ladies go through a lot, buying new clothes, often just to use them on social media, new phones with good cameras, but then no one forces them to be there. So what is up? Where is all this pressure coming from? How to find all bad? Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. Yes. My name is I'm from Yahuru. Yeah. And I always watch your program every morning. Thank you very much, and, my dear. And I, yeah, and unfortunately, there is no frequency for classes. So what I do, eh. I go to the internet. Uh, sorry, I down, I've, I've downloaded you in. Okay. So that I can go, I can listen to you every morning. Thank you very much, Party my dear. Yes, yes, thank you. Now eh. that issue has to do with your the man that you have in your life. Yeah. If he appreciates you. You yeah. don't have to go for artificial things. Yeah. You remain natural. Yeah. So to start with the person who is with you. Yeah. So he's accepted the way you are, you're good to go. Yeah. My mind is natural. Yeah. From here to everything. Yeah. And he tells me, eh. I love you just the way you are. So let me ask you a question. Yes. You don't wear weaves? I don't. I don't even have one. Wow, you must I be. I tried one. I tried one. He told me I did not require it. Keep it away. Give it out. Yeah. I have dreads. Yeah. And he takes care of them. Yeah. Because he wants me to remain just the way I am. Wow. And he reminds me every day that I'm okay the way I am. Wow. Mm. Okay. So self-esteem and confidence is the way to go. Okay. So once the the two are boosted, yeah, we are good to go. You're good to go. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, my dear. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello, Classic 105. Mm, I know. Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Say hi to King Angie. Uh -huh. King Angie Kopoa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling ladies are biting more than they can chew. Ladies are biting off more than they can chew? Yes, because uh. they're living a life of life. Yeah. I have to accept myself the way I am. By the way, I have no additive. You have got no additive on my body. You don't do you don't do makeup? I don't do it, but I'm very beautiful and I'm very confident in myself. And you don't have weaves? I don't have I have white hair from the age of thirty. Sorry? I have grey hair. You have grey hair? Yes, and you know when I I hit up on the street, it's like everybody's like, wow, you know. Yeah, and how old are you? I'm now forty six. You now? Forty six. You're thirty six, and you've got grey hair. Forty six. Forty six. And I started having grey hair at thirty. And you you never dyed your hair. I've never dyed, and in, in Musa, and I'm even short, and very beautiful. I feel very beautiful, and my skin is intact. Yeah. I was a plus size or a part in Yewe because of maybe childbirth and age. Yeah. But uh, when I was being told, I decided to work on my body, so I do exercises in the morning. Yeah. And I've come back to be very trim, not thin, because I don't like being thin, but let people love me the way I am. If you don't love me, we have a riot. You go for the other person. That's true. Yes, because we have differences. Why must I live a life that is not mine? I want to be comfortable. I don't want to be stressed. Wow. Okay. So, so you have to love me the way I am. If you don't love me, then that is your own problem. Because gave us, God gave us different choices. Exactly. Yes. So if you can't love me, Flora, the way I am, go and love the other person. That is it. Because you are different shapes, different sizes. But I'm not ashamed of myself. Amen. You know. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. My God, what a story, eh? I've learned so much this morning. What about you?